This is Acid Wit on Normal and Hard. And because this is acid wit, acid wit, I'm going to give both myself and my hireling acid uh, resist. And this quest, uh, when I started the game, was one of only three level 15 plus in the game. The level cap had recently went to 20, and it was sort of a, a dry spot in terms of levels. And uh, so much so that a lot of people would, would actually, um, back then, would, would just run Litany of the Dead over and over and over again. I think some people still do that today because it's really good XP. But for free-to-play players, you know, this this was a free-to-play quest, and so it was always, you know, you could almost always find an LFM up for it because people would have to, back then, people would have to run this quest over and over and over. All right, so we we are, um, go, you know, we can go left or right here, and I'm going to go left, and the reason is that this is actually two dead ends, but... Uh, this quest requires you to get so many acid elementals, and my experience is, you know, there might be a, more science to it, but if I don't pretty much clear every passageway, I don't get that objective, you know, it's, it's, it may not be quite every, but it's really, really close, and for sure if I skip this left passage, th there's like two sort of corridors in here, and if I skip these, I definitely am going to, uh, not have enough elementals at the end. And so this is the first pass, and you can see we've already got a bunch of elementals. There's just quite a few in this area. You just can't skip it. There may be larger bodies of acid scattered throughout the cavern. I might be able to skip this one, but... I don't know, but uh, generally I just get everything and then I make sure I have that uh, acid stone elemental objective at the very end. And she's taking acid damage. That's with acid resist. So it's that's why I gave so much. Uh, that's why I gave the acid resist to both of us. All right. So that was sort of like the left dead end area from the front. So that's clear. Now I'm going to go right, which is the way forward. And there's a few um, you know other dead end passages. I'm going to get them all just because in this quest, you know the. Um, you know, I've run it before and then not finished, you know, been to the end and, th and then not had enough uh, elementals, so that's why I always now just, just hit all the passages. I don't have to worry about it. And this is another dead end passage. Yeah, so con damage is pretty common here, so restoration, less restoration pots are very helpful. Thank you. 
So this shrine is interesting, I, uh, or this area. I don't believe this is there an elite going from memory. I, I don't think, I think it's only normal and hard, or maybe even only normal. We'll check it as we go. But I'm pretty sure that's not there on elite. Yeah, this, this build doesn't really need every shrine, so um, not much of an interest anyways. I think we got that we got that there message. No oh there it is, yeah. I want to get that uh objective. Eliminated crystals over the door. If you find whatever is powering them, you might be able to open the door. Alright, so now we there's a left and a right passage. We'll have to check both of those to get the levers. There's one on each side. side there's a southern and northern passage we're gonna go north first and there's a shrine here too on this side actually i believe there's a shrine on both sides so there's besides that one that's not there in elite there's uh two other shrines And on Reaper, uh, the big thing here is just so many enemies, which just means you might, you're going to get more Reapers, and of course more of a chance of just sort of the, 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 the bad luck lottery of getting, say, a double or a triple tough Reaper. And this room could be tough if you get a bunch of Reapers. There's more con damage. Restoration pot. Probably gonna get to need where I'm uh, get to where I want to have like a hundred of them. I currently have just been having like 30 or 40 at a time, but uh, some quests like this, it's just you, you know I go through a lot of them. All right, so I'm gonna go this way now. have to get two levers on each side and some of these sort of rooms with these levers also have optional bosses that sometimes spawn all right so that's one of four that we need to get let's see okay I think there's some collectibles that I was wanting to get that I, I missed but that's okay they were like up high it's not worth going all the way back for. Alright, so now we're taking the south past paths on this western side. I'm gonna put the hireling on stand his ground. That's not steam, it's acid. So you can kind of, you know, if you uh, time the pattern, but also you can just sort of jump over like this. And we have um, evasion. This build has evasion, so it's not as deadly. I have seen, you know, I have seen people die there before, so it's definitely a dangerous spot. 
but with an, with acid resist um, for this build, it shouldn't be a problem at all. On the way back, if you're still, you're still there. Uh, easier to just get him with an arrow or two. I'm not sure if all these rooms could have optional bosses or just some of them. As though the tumblers of a massive lock are being turned. But I know there's at least two two optional bosses or might be more in these in these end rooms. Alright, and I'm gonna go this way. Oh there it is. Yeah, unfortunately these bags are almost always sort of like low level. So you can just sort of check the pattern and avoid the, the damage that way. These bags are usually like low level, um, you know, tier one, maybe tier two collectibles at best. I've got so many of those, I almost, you know, get to a point where I don't think I'll ever need any more again. Even now I have just a ton of level one and two collectibles, but my, you know, threes and fours, I have quite a bit, but much less. Primarily because the bags. All right, so same thing here. We have a north and a southern passage. I'm gonna start. I'll start with the north, same way I did on the other side. elemental objective we're good there and we'll see how many other elementals we encounter because that will give us our like cushion the temperature in this tunnel is slowly increasing at least it's dry and there are some also in the end fight so probably don't need every single one but uh, there's quite a few in that first uh, passage to the left so that's probably why that's necessary So there's an orange name. I don't know if um, this orange name is an optional that's always there or not. So in general, the these orange name troglodytes are a little bit tougher, especially when they're champions. They're almost always casters. And this chest is for the optional. So I'm thinking this, I, I'm pretty, almost positive that one's not always there. That's like a, a chance encounter to get that, that boss. This chest, I believe, is always there. Oh, Earth Warded. Physical Resistance Bracers. Those are actually nice. Insightful Physical Resistance. I could probably sell that in the auction house. All right, now I'm going to head the other direction.
garish troglodyte environs. I guess I underestimated the potential of that glowing thing. I'm just gonna get this one, this one with an arrow. As far as I know, there's no respawns in here, so it should just be a, just clear back to the end fight. There's, there is an optional um, after the end fight. It's actually pretty cool. It gives you multiple chests, uh, at least two, maybe even three. And uh, I'm not going to do that optional again. I'm just going to stick to completion. But um, that's what I would really you know, recommend exploring if you want to just kind of really do a good, really get to know the dungeon. That's a really Among good one to do. Lava. You see acid scar troglodytes All right, so the inner uh, on higher difficulties, I like to really take and slow down this ramp. Uh, and then if it gets real hairy, I'll back up and let stuff come to me. Continue to destroy the Tower of the Twelve's foundation. It's not so bad that I want to go to ranged up here, but... Um, you know, uh, you always have the option of backing up if it gets pretty hairy. And you can see there's some movement down below. Um, not too bad, though. end boss for, for quest completion. But let me let me first get this guy who's getting healed by somebody. Alright. I think once this guy's down I think that might complete the quest and then there's a the optional isn't one you come to, the optional comes to you. If you if you're you're in here too long, basically there's gonna be an army of uh, Troglodytes that are going to come attack you, and then you know there's a few chests at the end. All right, so that's where the um, other chests are, but you won't get those unless you do the optional. The Acid Scar tribes attempt to burrow beneath the Tower of the Twelve will end with Tresselix's death, but only events will tell if the tribe will seek vengeance. All right, let's see if we can get out, get this and get out. I'll be pushing my luck. Abandoned chest rests on the rocky right, side. So let's Light grab these. Wealth, and then I'll try to recall out. And if I don't recall out, I'm going to have to fight these guys. I know on Reaper, we always just skip these chests a lot of times because we don't want to do this fight. 
All right, I'm going to invis myself and recall out. Probably the high theurge's death cry. And I'm going to put my uh, hireling on active, so my hireling will uh, attack them if they see them. But I think we're good. So we are able to get all those chests. You don't even have to do the optional to get the chests. But um, if you stick in there, the, the optional comes to you. You have to fight a bunch of enemies. All right, that's the normal run. That's a pretty good list for normal. Normally I just get a few things. Cold absorption, feather falling. So I'm just going to grab something light and to break down for essences, and I'm going to go right back in and hard. myself in YO uh, acid resist and probably for there long enough I'll do fire resist at the end chest or end area since there's some fire there ahead in the gloom you see that the and the trouble the trouble that's do a lot of electric so it's not a bad idea either really this is champion caster Left again and clear this side. There's two dead end areas here. It's a fair number of elementals. Kind of needed for our objective. There's two in the end fight, and so we actually got two. Um, or there's two in the end fight, so we could have done two less, you know, throughout the quest. But uh, this area, there's clearly more than two.
Yeah, so the shrine is still there and hard, so it's only elite that it must be uh, gone. Unless they changed that. I don't think they did, though. All right, now is come down here just to get the objective because no if you um, we'll need to do that to get the objective. Over the door. If you find whatever is powering them, you might be able to open them. Okay, now we're sort of... Kind of break this quest up into three parts. Part one is just clearing to this end area. And then part two is going left and right to get the four levers. And so we're on part two, and then part three is the end fight. So we're on part two in that sort of uh, break breakdown of the quest. About 520,000 uh, experience of about 80,000 away from level 21. And mo for many of the levels, I'm going to hold them. But for level 21, as soon as I can take level 21, I'm going to take it. Uh, if I'm, I, I may wait till I'm at least done with the level 15, 14, 15, 16 normal and hards. But as soon as that's done, I'm going to definitely take it. And that's because I get a bunch of hit points. And so uh, when I run those, you know, quests in the higher level quest on Elite, um, I don't think I really probably need those hit points, but I might as well have them. And uh, also for Keep on the Borderlands, yeah, I could start farming for Keep on the Borderlands gear once I get my Epic Destinies and I hit 21. Uh, that's that's a kind of more of a decent amount of XP compared to um, these you know heroic cleanup that I'm doing right now for favor. But so I want to make sure I have my epic destinies before I start doing that. And so I checked the sales; uh, they're out available now. And um, epic destinies was not on sale. Uh, not surprising. That's a pretty premium item. So I'm gonna wait. Uh, I probably won't be done until. Tuesday or Wednesday with my 3,800 paper run, and I might run a few more heroics between then and Thursday. Uh, and so, you know, the plan is I'm going to wait till next week's sale before I buy Epic Destinies. Then I'm going to run. Then I'm going to buy Epic Destinies, whether on sale or not. Um, I mean, if I finished my 3,800 today, I would just buy today. But since I probably won't be done. Uh, due to some scheduling and, and other issues I have, I probably won't be done until, uh, you know, pretty close to the next sale, you know, probably by Tuesday. And so I'll just wait until, wait until then to, uh, you know, give it two days just in case they go on sale. Um, you know, it's an expensive item. It's a thousand points. And if I can get it on sale, that would allow me to get closer to some other purchase objectives I have. So Epic Destinies is kind of the only 
uh, really must have that I have at this point. Some other things that are sort of high to high items, high priority items. items. That's not steam. It's acid. Right. Are going to be the uh, the other expansion packs. And um, you know, I'm going to those I'd like to get on sale, but they're. I think what I'm going to do is get to try to get to about 2,500 points, or two, you know, at least 2,000, uh, and then whichever one goes on sale. You know, first I'm just going to buy it. So if I had my choice between the two, it would probably be. Um, Shard from the perspective of gear, you know, for both level 15 and 30. But Ravenloft, the, the content, I enjoyed the content a lot more in Ravenloft, even though it's a few less quests uh, than Sharn. So it's kind of a toss up. Um, and then, you know, the, the Ravenloft raids, I'm pretty sure I can find a group for the Sharn raids. It's pretty hard to find groups for. So, you know, it'd be nice to work on Raid Gear, so I'm kind of leaning towards, more towards Ravenloft over Sharn from that perspective, but from a gear perspective, you know, clearly having that level 15 gear set and level 30 gear set is pretty key, and so Sharn is really good for that. There are some other places you can get gear in that range, but, um, you know, Sharn is certainly pretty top tier, and there's some Sharn level 17 quests that um, that aren't part of the expansion pack. There are packs that were included in the free free quests coupon. And so I always have that option of using some of that gear, uh, but uh, I really like the kind of like level 15 sort of um, split for gear. What am I missing here? There we are. So uh, just because, it, you know, uh, a stronger gear set's good because really level 14 is kind of when the quests start to get a little bit tougher, some of the quests. So it's nice to have updated gear at 15. I did not have it this life, but it was not as critical because I'm running, as, I'm running four levels over. And since I'm running four levels over, I'm doing a lot of this content. You know, it gets, ends up getting bunched in at 20. Uh, probably once I'm doing two levels over, it would be more of the level, you know, a few of the level 16s, 17s, 18s, 19s that are done at 20. Uh, there's so much content. I mean, that's just, there's, there's many great things about this game, but my favorites, favorite thing is the character customization. And another, you know, close favorite of mine is just, just the amount and diversity of the content you have in this game there's so many quests uh you, you could you know when you go to 30 it's not a matter of like you know uh, how many quests do i repeat you don't really have to repeat any quests like i have to on uh, this right now because i have to run normal hard um normal hard elite you know normal and hard to unlock elite but uh, that's a very short-term issue and once i get past life two i will never have to run you know normal and hard again and um, you know, if I'm trying to get to if, you know if I'm not worried about favor uh, I could probably get to 20 skipping a lot of quests you know, with no XP pots no you know no boosts anything I could still skip a lot of quests getting to 20 so I like that because I, I'm the type that would like to run quests one time instead of many times And then also from a gearing perspective, um, aside from the challenge or the storage issues, you know the fact that we have to store all this stuff. Uh, you know, if we get really nice items, even some really nice caster items, you know, and ranged items, we'll probably keep those. You know, really nice ones with mythic bonuses and maybe reaper bonuses. Uh, and then we'll, you know, those will definitely be saved. So that each subsequent life gearing gets easier and easier. 
That's three of four. So one more lever to pull. This is a really nice place for this tr this uh, shrine right here. I have about a little over a minute on my buffs, which should be enough to get this area clear. that jump. That's interesting. Direction of the cave's entrance, you hear the sound of tumblers turning. And uh, since the shrine's right here, I'm going to go ahead and use it. I might hardly use it. Alright, so just did a, a little more comprehensive buff for the scent bite. Did all the resists um, and protection from evil for y YO plus greater 
heroism, and I did all those plus my offensive buffs for myself. Among the spurting lava, you see acid scar troglodytes patrolling the inner sanctuary. <laughs> same, same thing, I'm gonna work my way down here. And uh, it shouldn't get too hairy on hard if it ever higher difficulty gets too hard. I'll just back up and draw them back. They will come up and uh, yeah, come up above and fight. Um, you do have to worry, like, there are elementals and stuff that will attack you. Even though you're way up there, elementals down here will still attack you and earth grab you and be successful at that sometimes. So that's a little, can be a little frustrating when you're fighting up there and you're getting targeted by earth elementals you can't even see. Those small numbers you need are, you see our YO's numbers there, like 30s and 40s. And crits of 72. they spawn so that they'll kind of target her and a banded chest not me rests on the rocky diet likely the purloined wealth of the of the many dead adventurers you've seen hanging from chains throughout the caverns so the chest in here are kind of nice I think there's five the chests total each run so ten total probably the high all right I'm gonna recall out cries, I'm gonna invis in myself caverns. just in case and then recall out Uh, if that was Constitution, False Life, and Insightful False Life, that'd be a really nice item. Um, nothing too exciting. I'm just going to grab something to break down for essences, and that is Acid Wit on Normal and Hard. 